Logic Pro for iPad has all of the same MIDI sequencing functions you're already used to using on your Mac. It is a fully functioning piano roll style MIDI editor where you can enter notes, edit notes, quantize, and edit velocity. And as I mentioned earlier, you can hook up just about any USB MIDI controller and record MIDI as well. All of the instruments from Logic Pro for Mac are available in Logic Pro for iPad. Now, what I will say is that the interfaces for some of these instruments are much simpler than their Mac counterparts. So if you need to do some really fine detailed synthesis and modulation and programming work, you might wanna do that on a Mac. For example, Alchemy, which is a super complex instrument with a ton of modulation controls, is much more simplified in the iPad version. All of the sounds and presets are there, you just have less control over some of the modulation parameters in the iPad version. However, if you move a project over to your Mac, you'll get all of those controls back, and then if you move the project back to the iPad, this locks in those controls so the sounds are exactly the same, regardless of whether you're working on your Mac or on your iPad. So let's add an additional Alchemy instrument to our project, and I'll show you how to write an automation with Alchemy's XY Transform Pad. Next, I wanna add a bass to this, and I want to use my own software instrument and play it in with my MIDI controller. So to do that, I'm gonna click here to create a new track. This time, I'm going to create a MIDI track. And by default, this will pull up an electric piano, just like in Logic for Mac. Okay, so for this track, I need a bass instrument. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my filters to search up a bass. And let's try this breaking bass. Okay, that's pretty cool. Press and hold, drag it on top of the track, and now I have my bass instrument. Drop down an octave. Now this instrument, if you open up the plugin tiles editor here, that's this middle button here. This will show you the signal chain of that entire track, including the instrument, any MIDI effects that came before it, and any audio effects that came after it. So this is an alchemy patch, and the instrument tile, the plugin tile, shows you all of the like essential controls for that particular instrument or effect. So I can actually use the uh, XY pad here to change the tone, just like you could with the Transform XY pad and Alchemy in Logic for Mac. Now, first we need to record in our MIDI, but in just a bit, I'm gonna show you how to record this as automation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start the playhead over here, and I'm going to record in a baseline starting at measure five. You can hit R to record on the keyboard or you can hit the record button up here. And there we go. So I can trim this up, I can just tap on it, trim that up, and then what I can do is I can edit this in the MIDI editor to just select the region, open up the editor, and this opens up a fully functioning piano roll style editor. So for this bass line I played in, I believe a 16th note is going to be the best quantization value. So to quantize, you pull up the inspector, and in Logic Pro for iPad, the inspector handles all of the quantization. There isn't a separate inspector for the piano roll. It's all done here in the region inspector. You can still select just certain notes and just quantize those notes, but the way it's handled is all in the region inspector. So if I go to quantize here, I can choose my quantization value. So I can click here and set this to a 16th note. And now all of the notes have been quantized to a 16th note. Okay, so just like with the tracks editor, there's a set of tools just for the MIDI editor. So you have the trim tool, which you can select notes with and you can trim them. 
So if I wanted to make these notes a little longer, a little shorter, you can do that. There's also a separate grid snap for the MIDI editor, so you can turn this on or off if you like. And this is really where I find the Apple Pencil is uh, really helpful because some of these like little ha time handles and things like that are, are kind of hard to, to work with your fingers, especially if you have fat fingers like me. Um, but you can go through and you can really get in here and fine tune and fine detail edit your MIDI recordings. And there are other tools too. So, you know, you have your pencil tool where you can enter notes. You can click again to remove the note. You can use the brush tool to enter in a whole sequence of notes. Then you have a velocity tool where you can adjust the velocity of each note. But I think I'm going to use a MIDI effects plugin to deal with my velocity to get all of the velocities the same. So I'm, I'm going to leave that alone for now. But before I start adding a bunch of effects, what I want to do is I want to write in some automation from the XY transform pad in Alchemy. So how do you do this? Well, you just click here to pull up your automation. You change your automation mode to a live automation mode. So I can choose touch and latch. I'll use latch. I'll set the playhead back here before the region. And if I want a bigger view of Alchemy here, I can uh, tap on that and it'll bring up a full view of Alchemy. And again, as I said before, the interface for Alchemy is much more simplified in Logic Pro for iPad because there's just a ton of modulation controls that, you know, they can't fit in here and are, are just not, you know, conducive to using your finger. So um, if you create a patch here and you bring it over to Logic for Mac, you'll get all of those controls back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around the XY pad here. And you can do this with your finger or you can do it with uh, the Apple Pencil. And because I have a live automation mode turned on, all I have to do is press play and then I can write in that automation. And now that I'm done, I can close out Alchemy. I can turn off my automation. Now, you don't want to turn it off. You want to put it in read mode because you want the automation to still be read. And let's go ahead and listen to that. And in fact, if you click there, you can go back to your tiles view. We can see the automation that I wrote in. And then to hide automation, you click here to go back to your normal regions view. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And please let me know in the comments below what other Logic Pro for iPad tutorials you'd like to see. I plan on doing full tutorials for Beat Breaker and Sample Alchemy very soon, so definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on when those tutorials go live. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.